up. Chris here from P90XWithChris.com. Day 57, we had some chest and back and ab rip racks, and it tore the crap out of me. Like, I was dead, like just so exhausted. I had to, actually before I did this, I hopped in the shower because I felt like I was going to throw up. I, I improved a lot, though, from the last time I was, I was like, um, I had a rest week, so I was like, eh, just give it my all. So I did, uh, like for push-ups, I did 25 the first round for normal push-ups. Pull-ups, I did 20. Military push-ups, 18. Reverse grip pull-ups, 12. Wide pull-ups, 20. I was just doing like 15 to 20 reps of everything. And then I drank water, which I think I just drank it too fast because I felt like I was going to throw up. So I hopped in the shower, ice cold shower, and it felt good. I needed that. Very tiring. Um, silence. It's nice. Uh, on campus, they've been doing a lot of construction. The room underneath ours has been getting jackhammers drilled into the wall, people pounding on stuff, so it's nonstop noise. It's frustrating trying to get homework done. During the workout, I had iTunes on just blasting music, trying to get me like pumped up and that noise out of my head. I feel like I need to, my ears got water in it. Um, I got a lot of, cl well, a clip from pretty much everything. I got some of the pull-ups. I moved the computer into the room and sat it on my roommate's desk and just had it sitting in the doorway as you can Oh, you can't see it really well from here. Uh, hold on a second. Okay. Oops. There's the pull-up area. Right in the door wall. Still got water in my ears. It's frustrating. Um, not sure how else I can help you guys. There was a question about dieting from, hold on, let me open it up quick so I can answer you by name without feeling like a jackass, from Julio, and you asked about, you have a slow metabolism, which is why you're doing hydroxy cut, which is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's like a pill for weight loss, and let's see, you're eating, you have a job that kind of is late night, don't have time to eat meals in a consistent manner. Um, the best thing for this would be to pick up meal replacement bars like you mentioned. Uh, Beachbody has some terrific ones that my favorite's the peanut butter and chocolate one because I like peanut butter and chocolate. It's like my weakness. Um, let's see, what else do you have questions on? Those are probably going to be your best bet for uh, kind of snacking and having the five or six meals a day because they're like little bars that you can just literally slide in your pocket, throw in your bag, uh, put in your back pocket for work. I'm not sure what you do for a job, but I'm pretty sure you can take like a lunch bail in and people take smoke breaks a lot of times. So when people are having smoke breaks, have a meal break, just do that. I'm not sure if you smoke. If you do, it's probably not going to help your process on P90X. So I recommend like stopping that, but, uh, Mirror replacement bar is probably the best. You say GNC loves you right now. Uh, that's a good place. They've got great vitamins, uh, great uh, supplements for protein, for everything you need for working out. I'm starting to recommend the Beachbody stuff because the more research I do on it, the better I realize that they've actually geared those supplements exclusively for P90X for the type of training we're doing. So I'm just going to keep recommending those. But... Congratulations on doing good on the push-ups. You got start off with zero, and you're doing power 90. So this is a little different. This is for people who don't want to get into P90X yet, which is really, really extreme. Uh, power 90 is a great thing. And you're up to 10 in your first week. That's awesome, dude. Like, that is kick-ass. Like, I'm proud of you. Uh, keep doing that. Like, if you keep it up, you're going to be able to do P90X when you want to and you're going to just you're going to kick the shit out of it. You're going to dominate it and I'm I'm proud of you like pushing through is one of the hardest things and 
Not sure. Anyone else who has questions, go to the blog. Leave questions there. It's the easiest way to get a hold of me. And I'm quickest to do those. Sometimes I get to actually do shout-outs in the video to talk to you guys, which is kind of, I think it's kind of cool that I get to interact through video with you guys. But if there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Uh, motivational video is going to be on the blog. Going to be down below on p90xwithchris.com. If you're on YouTube, go to my blog. That's where you'll get your inspiration for the day to kind of do your workout. And it won't just be me sitting here telling you how much I felt like shit doing my workout. So I hope this helps. If you have questions, as always, go to p90xwithchris.com. And I'm there monitoring, taking care of everything, answering questions, trying to help out as much as I can. Uh, so that's it for day 57. Getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. Almost a month left. 30 day pic or 60 day pictures are going to be up pretty soon. I'm pretty I'm pumped up about those. I want to see the progress from 30 and 60 days and then see what I look like difference from day one to day 60. And then 90 days is going to be here sooner than. Oh, it's going to be here quick, so I'm looking forward to that. But if you guys need anything, let me know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Otherwise, and this is Chris from P90X with Chris.com.